Okay, I have yeah. a question with detox and starting the new year right. I'm calling out Tori, but everyone can probably help me with this. But what are tips for meal prep? Because I need, it is just not my strength and I need help. <laughs> Putting me on the spot. I just, I see all of your posts and when I'm at your house, you're just always so good at following the meal plan and getting things ready, so. Well, I think really important on Sunday or Monday, whichever day works for your schedule to like look at what your week is gonna be like and be honest with yourself of what food you like, what food you eat. I think we get like meal prep becomes hard because it's meals that you think you need to be eating. And so it makes it really hard because like, this doesn't, feel like anything I would normally put in my kitchen or my pantry. So it's being honest with yourself about what meals you'll actually eat with you and your family, significant other, whatever. And then from there going into the TIU meal plan book or the, the nutrition book, whatever, and picking those recipes. And then from there, make it on Sunday and Monday, kind of plan out your week. And it can be a little bit easier that way, rather than doing things that are just so out of your comfort zone. That's what makes meal prep so hard. Where you're like, I have to make this crazy meal that I've never made or ate before, you can keep it really, really simple to things that you like and just kind of think about your week and plan it that way. So, and also, if you don't wanna um, plan like specific meals, like your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and have like 25 different containers in your refrigerator, I like to batch. So like I'll make a huge thing of rice or pasta and then I'll literally just heat up what I'll eat for like lunch or dinner and same with like the protein and like you want to make a giant salad and then add the dressing after so that it doesn't get like soggy because I cannot deal with soggy salad. Um, so if you don't want to do the individual portions, I, I love doing like the batch cooking where you just cook a bunch all in one day and then um, put it in a big tub and then just take as you go. Yeah, it's yeah like a free day, yeah. all of those types of things. I think going for simplicity over some crazy meals that you see on Instagram or whatever, going for simplicity over anything makes meal prep and staying on track and staying healthy so much easier. Yeah, and one thing I'll add to that is, I, I think oftentimes when we're meal prep, we think we have to like cook like 25 different foods, but I like to, as uh, Tori said, keep it simple, but then also choosing foods that I can switch things up with during the week. Yeah. So if I do make a batch of chicken, maybe I can do a chicken salad or a chicken wrap or chicken with pasta. So that way there's still some consistency and your mm -hmm. fridge is not full of like 25 different foods that you have to <laughs> eat for the week. Mm -hmm. totally. 2021, the year of seasoning. And the tray bake, right, Karina? <laughs> Isn't that what you yeah. always do? Really seasoning. Bobby is we had a tray bake two nights ago, we're probably having it tonight. Mm -hmm. I am a tray bake queen, because Kat knows when she comes over for dinner, it's all about the seasonings to mix it up. All right, everyone, cheers. Cheers.